I am going to solve this problem 3 3. In this problem, it is said that a carpenter carries a 6 kg uniform board as shown. So, this is a carpenter and he carries this uniform board, right. So, by uniform, by uniformity, it means that its center of gravity, its center of mass will be at its geometric center, right. So, it says that what downwards force does he feel on his shoulder at A, right. So, we need to find the downward force on his shoulder, right. So, if if I draw the forces on this uh, uniform board, right, so one force will be the force applied by the carpenter at this point B, right. So, the direction of that force will be downward, right. So, this carpenter will be applying the force in the downward direction like this. Let us say that this is N B force, right. And this his shoulder, the carpenter's sh shoulder will apply the force at this point A in the upward direction, right. So, this will be that force in the upward direction, right, at point A. So, let us say that this is the normal force at A and there will be one another force uh, and that force is the weight of this board, right, and that uh, weight will be at the center of this board, right. So, what is the center? So, this 1.5 plus 0.6 plus 0.3, the total length is 2.4, right. So, 2.4 divided by 2. So, at a distance of 1.2, there will be its center of gravity, right. So, let us see that its weight is acting somewhere here, that is at a distance of 1.2. Right. So, let us say that this is the weight and this weight is 6 into 9.81, right. This is 6 kg, right. So, weight is 6 into 9.81 and we are asked to find this N A. So, if you, if you people want to draw the free body diagram, so the free body diagram will look like this, right. I have drawn all those forces here as well. So, this is the free body diagram. I have drawn this free body diagram for you people, otherwise I do not need it. But if in your case the free body diagram is required, so you people have to isolate this uh, board on which the forces are acting, right. So, this is the free body diagram and this is the way how to draw that free body diagram. So, if I apply the moment condition, the condition for equilibrium, let us say that we apply the summation of moment at point B equal to 0 and let us say that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right. So, what is the distance between this point G? Let us say that this is the center of gravity, the distance between G and A. So, this distance is 1.5 minus 1.2, this distance is 1.2, right half of the length, right. So, 1.5 minus 1.2, so this is 0.3. So, this weight will produce the counterclockwise moment at this point B, right. So, we can write, so that weight is 6 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this G from this B is 0.6 plus 0.3. So, 0.3, this is 0.3 distance, right. This is 0.3 plus 0.6. And since this is the counterclockwise, so it is positive. And similarly, this N A is producing clockwise moment at this point B. So, we will write minus N A and the perpendicular distance of this N A from this B is 0 0.6, right. So, we will write 0 0.6. So, this will be equal to 0 since the system is in equilibrium, right. So, if you want to find N A, so this will be minus N A into 0.6 and this will be minus 6 into 9.81 into this is 0.9, right. So, 0.9. So, minus will be cancelled out and if you want to find an A, so an A will be equal to this thing divided by 0.6. So, this will give us an A and this will be equal to 88.29 and it is approximately 88.3 Newtons, right. So, this an A 
in this direction it is the normal force of the shoulder on this board right and this as a reaction this board will apply this same force in the opposite direction on the shoulder right so this is the magnitude right this is the magnitude of the force applied by the board on the shoulder right so this is the solution of this problem if in this problem we were asked to find this and a also so then there was a need of writing another equation as well right so since we are only asked to find this and a so we have used this only one equation right and there is uh, in this equation we have one unknown so we have determined this and a by using this only one condition of equilibrium right 